Back here at home, the Safe Access Oahu program begins today, and many businesses and customers are adjusting. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from Egghead Cafe with more details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine Ross. Yes, we've been covering the Safe Access Oahu program throughout Wake Up Today. In the 6 o'clock hour, you saw that we were at 24-hour fitness talking about their changes, but now we want to see a different side of things. Here at Egg Cafe, many of the, one of the many restaurants that's going to be impacted by this program. And here joining us on Wake Up Today, we have Mickey, who's a supervisor here. Good morning, Aloha, Mickey. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having us here. You all are about to open your doors, and mm -hmm. it smells delicious already. Mm -hmm. So first question I want to ask you is, how do you think the next 60 days will be like working here at at Egghead Cafe as a supervisor. I think that it's going to be a really interesting experience seeing if we slow down a little bit or if business stays good. We're really hoping that a lot of our customers trust that we're going to keep them safe because we are taking all the like procedures very serious and following the law very strictly. So hopefully people who weren't confident with dining in will now dine in and who have been doing takeout will swap and come in and have a nice lunch and breakfast and enjoy their time and the people that aren't going to possibly be vaccinated uh, hopefully will do some takeout with us and keep us kind of going and help the business out. Okay and we're talking about customers here and what has been the feedback so far? Have they been happy with this change? Are they upset about this change? What have you heard? It's been a little bit of a mix of both. Uh, we have a lot of people that appreciate the procedures that we're going through and how serious we're taking all of this, where they do feel more comfortable to dine in when they have it. So a lot of people are really excited to be able to come in and know that everything is going to be taken in a matter where we're really ensuring people's safety. And then some people uh, have decided that they probably wouldn't be returning and helping out uh, or that they would go and just do takeout. But it's kind of a mix of both really right now. We're not okay. quite sure how the next 60 days will go with it. And that could hurt business for those mm -hmm. customers who don't return back. Yeah. So I want to ask you about your team because some restaurants are already making the changes where they're they're switching from dine-in to strictly takeout for the next 60 days, or they're changing their operation of hours. Uh, how is your team doing? Are you all changing anything as far as the hours of operation, or did you all lose any employees? Um, so hopefully in the beginning of COVID, we already had made it where our weekdays we closed an hour earlier, but right now we're intending to stay at closing at one o'clock on weekdays and two o'clock on weekends. Okay. And our staff, uh, everyone on the team is vaccinated except for one person, but he is taking it very serious and making sure that he gets his test every week and sends us his results and stays up to date on it because he doesn't want to be out of work for that 60 days, so he's fine with taking the measures to stay at the job and be able to remain a part of the team and everything like that. All right, well, Mickey, you're going to be hanging out with us in the next half hour. I understand you got some foods coming out for us to show as well. What's really cooking here at Egg Cafe and also the different ways that customers can support you all as well as other efforts and groups that you all have going on here. So we'll get into that. Thank you so much, Mickey. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. And if you want some more information about the Safe Access Oahu program and all the coverage that we've been following, head over to our website at KH12.com to get the latest. Reporting out here at Egghead Cafe, Dallas Anaveros, KH12 News.